Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome to Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah! The purpose of this series is to explore and explain some of the different football leagues from around the world. Now everyone knows the bigger leagues like Barclays Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, but some people may not know the smaller leagues. And to me those are really interesting and worth exploring. We're not going to talk about national teams here, we're just going to talk about the domestic leagues inside these countries. So without further ado, let's jump into Albania. Albania consists of four professional leagues, the Categoria Superior or the Superliga, the Categoria e Para, e First Division, Categoria e Daita, and the Categoria e Trita, so Second and Third Division. The team who wins the Super League qualifies for Champions League, the next two teams that finish second and third qualify for Europa League, and the bottom two teams are relegated into the First Division. In the First Division, the top two teams go up, while the bottom two teams move down to Second Division. In the Second Division, the top four teams go up, bottom two teams go to the Third Division, and in the Third Division, the top team is promoted. In the Superliga, teams play 36 matches, which means that they play each team four times. The season lasts from August to May. As far as the Super League goes, it has been dominated recently by Skunder Bay Court Shaw, who has won the league the last five years in a row and is looking like they could repeat for a sixth time this year. There are also two cup competitions in Albania, the Albanian Cup and the Albanian Super Cup. The Super Cup is simply a single match played at the beginning of every season between the winner of the Albanian Cup and the winner of the Superliga. This is held every year at the National Stadium in Tirana, the country's capital. The Albanian Cup is a knockout competition that has been played since 1939. The winner of the cup automatically gets a bid into the first qualifying round of the Europa League. The most successful clubs in this competition include KF Tirana and Partizani Tirana. This section is basically meant for how many foreign players a league allows. Some countries are interesting where they only allow goalkeepers that are um, of that country's nationality and different stuff like that. For Albania, things are pretty cut and dry. The only rule that I've found is that no more than four foreign players in a starting 11 in the Superliga. For the lower leagues, only five foreign players are allowed on the roster. As far as notable teams go, Skunder Bay Court Shaw has had a bit of a dynasty lately, winning five League Cups in a row. In historical terms, teams like KF Tirana, Dynamo Tirana, and Partizani Tirana should all be mentioned because they've all had very successful runs. While the majority of players are Albanian, you will also find players from the surrounding countries like Kosovo, Montenegro, and Macedonia. No Greek players are in Superliga, however, as per my research, which is interesting because the two countries share a border. Other players you can find in the Superliga hail from countries like Serbia, Croatia, Macedonia, Brazil, Nigeria, Cameroon, Uruguay, and even Argentina. Some notable players in the league include Hamdi Salihi, Chuvar Sukaj and James Adeni. Albania has some fantastically passionate football fans, and most of the teams in the Superliga have ultras that follow them. There are also many great derbies in Albania. The top derbies in Albania seem to revolve around KF Tirana. These include the Capital Derby with Partizani Tirana, the all time Albanian Derby with Vlasnia, a rivalry with Skunder Bay Court Shaw in recent years, and with Dynamo who are currently in the first division. Now these are all really incredible events and they need to be witnessed in person. A quick YouTube search of each of these derbies will produce some tremendous video. For those who can't watch in person, all matches are broadcast on either TVSH, a station owned by the Albanian government, or Supersport Albania. Some highlights of big matches can be found on YouTube through channels like Supersport AL and Top Channel Albania. And if you know any other places to watch matches or highlights from Albania, leave a comment or a link below. Well, that's pretty much all for Albania, and that's all for the first episode of Footy Leagues Around the World. I hope you liked it, and if you did, subscribe or press the like button. Up next is Algeria. Thanks for watching.